Hello guys, welcome to City Guppy. If you are new here, please subscribe. It helps me a lot. Also, click the notification bell and click all. Don't forget to share to your fellow fish keeping friends. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a beautiful day so far. Life is so hard today, but don't forget to smile and be thankful. In today's video, I will share to you tips on how I keep my breeder guppies healthy. This will be a short and straight to the point video guys, so make sure to watch from start to finish. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below on what you would like to see in my next videos. Let's go! Here are my Peter guppy breeders. They are almost 5 months old and I raised them from they were still fries. I used to feed them baby brine shrimp but now I stopped because it takes too much money to feed your fries live foods like BBS every day. Now I feed them with a balance of JBM powder mix, egg yolk, and spirulina tablets. One pack of 50 grams of JBM powder mix fish food can be bought for 100 pesos in online stores such as Shopee or Lazada. That one pack of fish food can last you up to 3 or more months if you feed them with other varied diets too. You can always save money by finding free foods such as mosquito larva, daphnia, egg, and many more. Diet is very important when trying to condition your breeders. So make sure to feed them foods with high protein content such as live food or egg yolk. High quality pellet food is not very necessary because it costs too much compared to free live foods such as daphnia or mosquito larva. This is my grow out pond where I put the fries of my breeder guppies. My guppy breeders has produced hundreds of fry because of a high protein diet. In my opinion, mosquito larva is the best food in order to bulk up your female guppy breeders in order to produce hundreds of fry. Now, in order to have female guppies that give birth every month, you don't need a very big container to place them in. If the container is too big, the male guppies will have a hard time breeding the female guppies and fertilizing the fries inside. I personally recommend 2.5 gallons for a trio and 5 gallons for more. But if you keep more than 10 guppies in a 5 gallon tank, make sure that you can always clean and change their water in order to ensure water quality and avoid death of your breeders. Because I keep many guppies in a small tank, every day I take time to remove poop and uneaten food at the bottom of their tank. After I siphon out the poop and the uneaten food, I replace what I've siphoned with new, fresh, and clean water. The tank is also filled with aquatic plants because it serves as an oxygen source, filtration, as well as hiding place for the newborn fry. But if you have a little more budget to buy filters and an air pump, I recommend buying small sponge filters for your breeding tanks. These are now the fries of my guppies. As you can see, my breeders have produced thousands of pea dirt fry. And every month, hundreds are being born and being transferred to the grow out pond in order to be raised to adulthood. If you follow my tips and you feed your breeders with a nice protein high diet as well as clean water, they will also produce this many fries or even more. Now, shout out to Ron's Aquayard 
and Ramon's Fish Farm Paradise. If you have time, make sure to check out their channels. Shout out also to Mo Platis Bearers, Banks Journey, and Dioxide. Thank you so much for the kind words and for the support. Now guys, I hope you learned a lot in this video. And if you did, click like down below. My goal for this video is 10 likes. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing down below. I am Siti Gapi, a student fish keeper in the Philippines. The CT Guppy community is now 300 members strong, so please subscribe down below and join our little family. If you have any more questions and concerns, please don't hesitate to comment down below. I love talking to you guys and I will reply each and every comment. Again, this has been CT Guppy. See you again in another video next week. Bye guys!